Our, our second video is on Chat GPT Assessment Design Helper, and it was created for us by Dr. Zahiruddin Fitri bin Abu Hassan. He is the head of training at the Academic Enhancement and Leadership Development Center, or ADAC, at the University of Malaya. We're going to share the video now. Hello, Assalamualaikum everyone. Today we are going to look at several prompts that can help you use ChatGPT for assessment design. Don't worry if you did not manage to catch what those prompts are. I have listed them down in the video description. I'm going to use an example from the course that I have taught this semester, which is construction law. One note of advice, you need to give ChatGPT as much context as possible in order for it to generate the questions that will match your needs as close as possible. So use my prompts as a guide or as a starting point for you to start designing or start thinking about what kind of assessment that would you like to give your students and also how ChatGPT could help you to diversify the kinds of assessment tasks or questions that you give your students. I'm going to start with the first prompt that I've already created for uh, this video. And this prompt will look at the continuous assessments. Okay. So I'm going to copy the prompt that I have. Okay. It's uh, generating, but if you look at the prompt here, you are giving context in terms of the learning outcomes and also the cost synopsis. Okay, so now you can see that ChatGPT has come up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven assessments that uh, you can give your students. Okay, so it ranges from uh, role play scenario, uh, it even list the learning outcomes that it covers. Okay, uh, group presentation, problem solving exercise, open book quiz, legislative research. Okay, so that's uh, the examples that uh, the ChatGPT gives. You can also try to ask another question. So uh, probably I would say that uh, the any of the questions given or the proposed question is not really uh, matching my needs. So I can ask the ChatGPT to come up with another one. For example like this. Okay, so the question, the prompt ask the ChatGPT to come up with five uh, non conventional out of the group box group coursework assessment for construction uh, law. Okay, and I excluded legal research because I don't want the ChatGPT to suggest legal research for this. Okay, so then you come up with uh, a new list. So again, uh, it gives you the title of the assessment and what are the descriptions and what are the rules for uh, the students. So it comes up with five. Okay. So let's say, for example, I like the construction law debate tournament. So, but I want the chat GPT to still help me with the design for this. So I'm going to paste in another prompt. This, this time I'm going to point it directly to uh, question number four. Okay, so I'm going to change this. Suggest in table format evaluation rubrics to option four. Because four is construction law debate tournament. Okay. And 
and asking it to give the rubrics for this. So now we can see that ChatGPT is creating rubrics for the assessment and I limited or I told ChatGPT to be specific with the rubric okay in table format so it gives me a table format like this and then uh, limits the criterion for each of the rubric category to two and rating scale from one to four but I don't really like this uh, the way that it generates this um, the table format so what i can do is actually just click on regenerate okay and then on the left hand side here you can see it's two out of two that means you can actually go back to the first one if you think that the, the second one uh, is uh, less interesting okay so again so this is the rubrics that's uh, given by ChatGPT, and then it also gives this description on what the assessment will be for the students. Okay, so that's interesting, isn't it? So now let's look at how we can use ChatGPT to give us a a bigger kind of uh, evaluation rubrics for assessment so again you want to be specific with chat gpt to give it context so this is another request for rubrics okay so in this request for rubrics you are asking for two categories of rubric rating scale uh, one to four okay but i would say that this is too short for two uh, rubrics so i'm going to stop generating here and then i'm going to tell chat gpt to change it so by clicking on this so i'm going to change the rubric category to five now okay and then we uh, let the rating scale to remain one to four click save and submit it will generate a new rubrics okay and now it has four criteria okay so simple is it so let's look at how we can generate exam questions for with chat gpt sorry okay so we can ask a general question like so okay so remember that we've already told chat gpt very early on just now about the learning outcomes okay and using this chat chat gpt knows that learning outcome number one is elaborate roles and objective for construction law and number three apply construction law in contracts and related problems so it will ask questions that covers both learning outcome together so again it will give you the example questions for you to work on so it doesn't have to be that you have to use whatever chat gpt gave you you use it to give you context you, you use it to as a starting point so that then you can change the questions as how you would like it so let's look at question number five okay so how do we then create a marking scheme or marking guide for our questions based on chat gpt so remember that chat gpt actually is not really good at domain a specific domain knowledge but we can still use it to inform us on how 
the likely answer will be. Okay, so I will ask ChatGPT to So I'm going to ask it to ask answer the question number five. So now, in a limited manner, so we can look at how ChatGPT answers the question. So you can use this to start off your marking guide for the exam question. So lastly, let's ask the chat GPT to help us with, help us with something that is uh, not really something that we are not really um, normally do. So we don't something that we not we don't normally do, uh, especially uh, or at least on in my field, which is open book question. So I'm going to paste this prompt. Okay. So I'm asking ChatGPT now to create an open book question. Okay. And this is on a specific learning objective. So remember context uh, is there. So we, you give it context again by putting in university student there and also uh, what you want the students to comment on and also create a make-believe case. Okay, so so what ChatGPT gave me actually uh, is an open book question but there's no make-believe case. So let me ask ChatGPT to regenerate the question again. Okay, so now it gives me the, the case that the questions uh, should come up with. So that's how you can use ChatGPT to help you prepare your exam practice or to prepare your assessment, continuous assessment question. Hopefully that helps. Thank you very much.